If you're wondering how to make custom signs and logos for your Big Ambitions playthrough, be sure to stay tuned and find out how you can do something like that or something like that. And be sure to like and subscribe as well for more Big Ambitions content. All right, so as you saw in that intro, I had a couple custom sign logos and some custom billboards, and it's actually pretty easy to do. What I use is paint.net, a free editing program for pictures and whatnot, pretty simple to use. And uh, what you wanna do is get to a certain spot within your save games, which you just go to your local disk, go to users, then your primary username, app data, which is a hidden folder. So in order for you to find that folder, if you don't have hidden folders showing, you go to view, show, and make sure hidden items is checked. That way you'll be able to see the app data folder. Now I'm using Windows 11. It may be functionally different if you're using Windows 10. I honestly don't recall, but essentially what you need to do is find out how you can show hidden folders if it is not the same as what I have here. So we'll go to app data and then we need to go to local low and then you scroll down until you see HubGuard games, obviously big ambitions and then save games. Now we're in EA.4 currently, so I'll be checking that one out there. Now there's going to be multiple fol folders for your multiple save games. I've already found out that this is my correct save game because it has all of the businesses that we've created in our playthrough together. If you have multiple ones like I do, it's just a matter of finding which one. It's also easy to see on here when the last time you've played is because it'll be modified at that point. And it's modified when you create a new business. So it's easy to find that way. And what we're going to do today is we're going to make a billboard, a logo, and a sign that will show up on pretty much everything within the game world. And we're going to do it for Hell's Burgers. Now, this is the default that we created originally when we made the business. And this is what will show up here. And as you can see, the dimensions for both the billboard and the square sign are both 1024 by 1024. They're just squares. And then your wide sign is 1024 by 128. Now there are also all JPEGs. So in order for you to make sure that they show up, you can't save them as a PNG. They have to be saved as JPEGs. So what we're going to do is we're simply just going to open up this, this file here, open with paint.net and it'll pop up right on my screen. And we're just going to simply select it all and delete. Now, the reason why I did that, it should be obvious, is that we still have the original file open. It's not saved, but we have the same dimensions as we need. Now, what I've already done is gone through Google to find some images that I would like. I'm going to be using these here. So I'm going to make multiple layers, which you can do that right down here with add layer. And I have three images that I want to use, but I only need three layers total, the background, and then the two other images I've grabbed. Now I'm also going to be putting editable text on the uh, image as well, which is a plugin under the tools. So what you need to do in order to get this is to search Google for paint.net editable text, and you will find out how to install and how to use this little tool function. It's very useful. So what I'm gonna be doing is adding one more layer here. And you know, I I like to uh, change the layer names. So I'll like call this the, the text layer. We'll call this the burger layer. And we'll call this one devil layer. Background can stay the same because we know that's going to be the background. So like I said, I already downloaded some images, so I'm going to just do this right here. I'm going to drag and drop this flames image into the logo area here. I'm going to select all by hitting control A, control C to copy, and then paste. 
And what I like to do is keep canvas size. So this will not change this canvas, the 1024 by 1024, but it'll bring the image in very large image in. In fact, let's, let's fix that. Let's change this. In order for us to change this on here, it's just a simple image. We'll just resize this and we'll want to maintain the aspect ratio. So we'll say that there and it, we'll keep it within the same frame like that, but we still want it to be slightly larger. So we're going to go back, resize it a little bit more. Let's just say, let's call it 1400. Will that be enough? No. So we want the height to at least be 1024. There we go. So now I can control A, select all, control C to copy, go back to my original image and then paste and keep the canvas size. So now all I need to do is just bring this over to a point that I like, which we'll just go here. I think that looks good. So that's our background. And now we're going to add the burger. So once again, I'm going to believe with a PNG, I could just copy and paste. Yep. So we're going to keep the canvas size. Now this burger image is also insanely large, so we're going to backtrack again. I haven't opened these yet, which is why I have to keep doing this. Hilariously enough, I can actually close out of this one. We don't need to save that. We're going to go to a new, I'm up at the top left here. And you can tell it's an 8,000 pixel image, so it's a very, very large image. We're going to paste it there, and we're going to adjust this right now. We're going to make it... We're going to maintain the aspect ratio. Let's make the height like 300, much smaller image. So now control A to select all, control C to copy on the burger layer. We'll hit that. Boom. So we got our burger there. It's much more manageable image. We're just going to hit enter again. So it's, it stays there. Now we're going to do the devil. We're going to bring him in and we're going to open the image. And I like the size here, so we're just going to control A, control C, and bring him into the devil layer. And now, notice that there is no, it's a, it's a clear background. There's no, you know, white background or anything like that. These are all PNG images. So, when we bring them in, it's only the image that shows up. Now, because the devil is in front of the burger, we don't want that to happen. So, we're actually going to move the burger layer above the devil by clicking and dragging. That way, oh, that's weird. Oh, that's why. Okay. Whenever you see the box, always hit enter so that you can actually move the layers here. I don't know what that is down there. So we're just going to delete that. So I, this is the, the eraser here. I'm going to make it larger so I can just get rid of this. There we go. All right. So. Now that we got the burger and the devil and where they need to be, we're going to move the devil just slightly, maybe down just a little bit, probably about right there. We're going to take the burger and we're just going to put it right in the devil's mouth. Then simply enough on the text layer, we just go to our tools. So first off effects, tools, editable text. I like to use and this is just my personal preference. You can have whatever font you desire. I'm going to use, let's see. I usually do Arial Black, but let's actually take a look at these. Do we have anything cool? Let's try Roboto Medium. Let's see what this looks like. Let's change the font color to white so we can see it. Let's make the text size 30. We'll say Hell's burgers nope I don't like that font so let's see what else we got some of these are there we go so we're gonna do this one I don't know how to pronounce it but I'm gonna say Sego Sego print Oh, that's even more interesting. Nope, don't like that one.
All right, I'm going to go to Sego. Yeah, I'm going to stick with print. All right, so we know that 30 for the size is too small, so we're going to go with 60. There we go. And just as simple as that, we got a Hell's Burgers. And then all we need to do... Oops, hit OK first. And what we'll do is save as. And now we're in our our little uh, folder here where we originally opened. We're going to go to JPEG, billboard, save, yes. Now we want the best quality, so we're going to leave it as default. This is all default. We're going to hit OK. And now it's saying, hey, you got to flatten this. So if you want to keep this as a template for other logos, you're going to want to hit cancel first. You're going to go to file, save as, and you know, honestly, you could even just go into the main folder here and just say billboard template, and it'll save as a PDN file or a paint.net file, and that's your template file. So when I hit save, it'll keep all of these layers and settings and everything for me. Now I can go back here, file, save as, go to JPEG, scroll down, and look for Hell's Burgers and save it as billboard.jpg. Yes, I want to replace it. Hit OK and flatten. And now we have this Hell's Burgers logo that'll show up on billboards. And then we can actually go to save as again because it's the same exact thing. Go to square sign. Save once again. We want to replace it. Hit OK. Boom. That's done. Now, for the next one, we have to work with the wide sign. So we're going to close this one out. We're going to get these guys out of the way. So we're not going to save that one. We're not going to save that one. We've already saved this. Don't save. Just remember, it's still here. So we'll drag and drop this guy in. We have that. Control A to select all. Delete. And now again, we will add our layers here. And we'll call this one the text layer. And we'll call this one the devil layer. So our background, once again, is going to be that flame image and Unfortunately, because I forgot to change this, we're just going to do this again. We're going to open it. We're going to make sure that the image is resized to a width of 1024. Because I don't, I'm fine with, with it just being like this, for instance. There we go. That's cool to me. So now we just need to add our devil. We'll go back here. And we will control C, copy, paste, keep canvas size. Now in this regard, we'll just hit enter. We'll move it over a little bit. We'll hit enter. And now we can go to image or sorry, layer. And then we can resize the layer here with layer properties, if I remember correctly. Nope, not layer properties. Where is it? Hmm. Well, I know at least we can do this, but that's not going to work out. So let's, there we go. Let's resize it to be about that big. There we go. All right. So we got our little devil there and we can even, if we want to, um, keep it like that or we can select it copy it 
and paste again. And I think, yep, it'll bring up a second one. We could put that guy right there. So we have two devils and we go to our text layer. Tools, editable text. Remember we're doing 60 and we're doing that Seago uh, print. Say Hell's Burgers. It's hiding down there, of course. Hit OK. And there you go. And we'll do one step further here. So notice it's kind of hard to see here because the, the bright background of the flames with the white font. So if we want, we can go to Effects, Object, Drop Shadow. And I just keep everything standard here. Hit OK. You got a decent one there. And if you, in fact, actually hit control F, it'll repeat the last thing you did. There we go. I think that looks just fine. And what we'll do is we will first save as, we'll go back to our main folder. We'll say wide sign template. We'll save that. And then once again, file, save as, We'll find Hell's Burgers once again, and if I can get my stuff here, right? There we go. Make sure to save this as a JPEG. Wide sign. Yep, we want to replace it. Boom. Boom. So now, what we can do is go into the game and see our stuff. So I'm going to do that real quick, and we'll see what this looks like. All right, so we are back in game. We're gonna travel to Hell's Burgers and we're gonna see what this looks like. It should show up on the front sign. I don't know if I've got any marketing for billboards yet, but I certainly will be adding them now for Hell's Burgers. Yep, there it is. Take a look. Just get out here. Get rid of that. And as you can see, we've got our logo right there. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. Once you get the hang of it, it starts becoming really quick, to be honest. So I think this is a cool little thing to add. Oh, look right there. Oh my God. Strangely enough, we actually do have a billboard for it and it's sitting right in front of us hilariously. But now you get an idea of what this will look like. And it, you know, on the larger billboards, it just looks like this. It just scales up. But it's, yeah, it's a pretty easy thing to do and it adds a little bit of uh, fun and customization. You could do whatever you want with it. Uh, what you saw in the intro was an old playthrough, just so you are aware, since I haven't done it yet for this playthrough. But um, right now I'm working on the next video for you guys in terms of part, I believe we are in 32, if I'm not mistaken, 32 or 33. I can't remember at this point, but uh, it's, it's going to be a little bit of extra time simply because I'm trying to make it so we're not seeing the same things over and over again. So I've got a lot of going on in the background and um, we'll be uh, hopefully getting our 80 businesses done here pretty soon. But uh, as it stands right now, obviously, if you have any questions on how this works or what to do, let me know in the comments. I will certainly do what I can to help. And uh, hopefully you guys have some fun with this and, you know, throw throw billboards and custom signs into your game as well. But uh, thanks again, guys, for watching, and if you uh, like what you saw today, obviously, like I said before, give me a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be notified when I do put out more videos. Thanks again, guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Mm,